previously on episode one, season six of the official service series, we got into it. Having made a vital early discovery just south of Prudtoy Cap, we decided to go inland to see what we could find. And it wasn't long before we came across our first large active faction. Shortly afterwards, we were to pay with our life. But then came the second coming. And after finally making it through the deadly coastal spawn sites, we hit the jackpot. Find after find after find. We got so kitted we could finally put a base down. And just when we thought we'd seen enough, we came across a raidable carton. Okay, moment of truth. What have we got here? Well, this isn't looking as good as I had first hoped, but there is a cooking pot. And there's a couple of extra little tents here for storage, should we need them. But okay, we could uh, come back to this at some point if need be. So let's get back to base and just make sure everything is good. It's been 24 hours since we were last home. Well, fences look all nice and... Is that barbed wire on there? We've got barbed wire on the outside of our base, which we definitely have not put up. Okay, interesting. So you know what this means. <laughs> um, <laughs> someone's uh, taken over our base by the looks of it. Well, our tent is still in there. Let's go and see if we can uh, get rid of this barbed wire. Yeah, look, it making us uh, put on a, a code lock entry. So uh, someone has definitely broken in here. Reset the code lock. Ah, oh, god damn it. That threw me straight into... Uh, that animation has thrown me straight into the barbed wire. This happens <laughs> from time to time. Well, it's a pity whoever's done that is not currently here right now. Because that would be interesting. Anyway, let's go and uh, get rid of this barbed wire. And we're going to have to work out a way now with, um, of getting back in here. We're just taking our time a little bit with this just to make sure we're not going to completely de-blood ourselves here. By cutting ourselves a numerous stupid amount of times. I don't really want it to double hit and get it done quick, but uh, there's a strong possibility I'll get thrown into that barbed wire again. Okay, so there you go. Look, it's making me put in a new code. So, uh, yeah, someone's definitely taken over that base. We may well have to get hold of the admins on this, as uh, that is against the rules on this vanilla server. So, uh, anyway, let's see what happens. See if we get a response. In the meantime, though, time to go. So, having put a ticket in to the admin team, we were awaiting a response and decided to go searching the area southwest of Pollyanna. Now out here is one of those areas that I generally have a lot of success. So we're going to give it the once over. Hold on, there's a dig site here. Let's uh, see what is happening. Oh, there's a base here. Okay, so this is going to be interesting then. Is someone in the base? So I'd expect to now see more dig sites if they've uh, already put one down. There's not a lot in here, nothing we really need. We better go searching around the, uh, the entire area, but also being a little bit careful because we don't know if uh, someone's actually in this base right now or not. So we've just moved the weapon out silently into our hands, which is why we dropped it on the floor. Doesn't make a sound. Can't see anything else. I think there's a flagpole back there. Yeah. Is that another dick site there? Yeah, there's another dick site here. Okay. 
Now, are we going to uncover something exceptional here? Now, that would be good. What have we got then? Okay, not too bad. A couple of boxes of nails. Obviously, some building gear. Nothing too spectacular as of yet. I wonder if there's any more though. And there may well be. So there's a large tent that's going to no doubt have a code lock on. Oh, there's more. Now I cannot hear any movement coming from the tent or that little base. And I'm not sure if we're going to find that this base has actually been hit or not. By the looks of it, I don't think it has. Because they would have, surely they would have found these dig sites. But you never know whether someone's just camping that or someone may actually be inside hearing us do this and just waiting for us. Oh, there's a shitload of food here. Okay, so we can uh, take quite a bit of that for the time being. Is there any more? I'm being quite blase about this right now. I don't think anyone's here right now and I can't hear anything. So, um, we're kind of protected from the back of the base if someone was in it. Because there's a big old uh, two-story fence there. So, unless they get lucky and shoot through it, then uh, we're not going to get here. Oh, there's another dig site. Can we get to this without chopping this tree down? Hoping we can. Should be able to. There you go. There you go. Always worth persevering here. If you can place it down in the first place, there will always be a way of getting to it. Sometimes you've got to lie down. So, um... What have we got in here? Okay, we've got C4. A little bit better loot. What's in here? Oh shit, look at that. There's loads of 308s. And the only things that we really care about right now, I'll tell you what we do, we're going to take the pouches and just swap out anything that we're going to potentially need. And we'll keep the pouches in our hands for the time being. So whoever's been here... Whoever's base this is, is clearly a bit of a farmer by the looks of it. And they've built that the wrong way round. That fence, that gate. So I assume they're still in the building process. Well, quite clearly they are, because they've still got the uh, the fence kit down. I'm just going to double check and just make sure that we haven't missed anything here. So just making a little bit more room. Happy days, cooking pots back in our infantry. Now I'm just going to give it one more quick little look around. Just in case. Probably not anymore. Oh, okay. There's one more. There's one more. Let's get this up and running. There we go. Now wouldn't it be nice just to get something top tier out of one of these? I should imagine it won't be anything like that because it will probably be in the boats. But you never know. Yeah, a load of rubbish. Couple of boxes of nails. Again, we're not building a massive base ourselves, so we don't really need them. But, there's no I'm taking them for the time being. Is that it, or is there more? I think we have pretty much exhausted that. I don't think he's going to be putting those dig sites back outside his base anytime soon when he comes back. So, uh, may well be worth another visit in a few days' time. See what's, uh, what's happened. I'm just going to go back over to this base for a second. Just to make sure that we haven't made any kind of obvious errors here. I.e. we have definitely found all of the dig sites and we've not left anything uh, silly in any of the crates that we actually want. Well, there you go, we'll take a saw. Okay, I think we're done. Can't hang around here too long. Right, move on, let's go. So, we haven't quite had a reply back from the admin team yet regarding our base situation. So we've decided to commandeer the car tent we broke into until this is sorted out. 
So we put up one of the small tents or medium tents that uh, was already in here and we've slapped on two code locks just for a place that we can store some bits and pieces until this base situation has been resolved. We don't need all of this stuff with us. In fact, I'm going to run with probably one gun. I think we'll go with this Origin 12, 12 gauge. Um, and probably dump off a load of rubbish that we don't actually need to be carrying around at the moment. This is a dangerous old server and uh, there are a lot of people on the server. It's full, continually full pop. So um, the chances are we are definitely going to be getting into something pretty soon. Don't really want to be losing all of this gear. So let's just get rid of what we can now. Makes absolute sense. Okay, now that's all sorted out. Infantry's good. Time to get some food inside of us. And off we go once more. And with that, we've headed northwest of Pavlovo to a green moustache, which we thought was empty. But things are about to take a turn. So we've just heard some shots from nearby. I don't think it's from here. Uh, there is a farm not far from uh, our position, and I think it's from there, but uh, anyway, we're just doing the rounds. Well, someone has been here. There's an empty crate there in the tree. Uh, nothing here. It looks like uh, someone may well have just cleared this out. Quite a nice little spot, this, really. Oh, hello. Okay. Let's see if we can establish contact. Yo, anyone in? Well, there's no uh, obvious response as of yet. Well, we're going to head up to the tree line up here and probably loop around to the right and go and check this farm out. I don't really fancy going across the main open field over to the right towards the set of shots that uh, we heard a little while ago. Let's grab some water on route. Oh shit! Oh shit! That guy must have come from that base back there. God damn! You know what he's doing. He's shooting and making up ground. Stopping to shoot and making up ground, isn't he? Quickly, get out of the gun. Let's go. Oh Jesus. We haven't even got a chance to get up. If he keeps hitting us like that, we have got no chance. Why hasn't he finished us? Yo, there he is. Uh, GG's. So we've respawned and we have ended up in Berezino. She's not too far from Riffy. Here we go again. So an hour later, having gained some basic gear... We managed to locate an access card for the Vibor Vault number 3. So we thought, why not go and check this out? But just before we do, we got a little distracted at this old broken down base. There's a base here. We don't need a knife. And we've only got a little bit of gear here. Just enough to probably get us to Vibor. Let's just see what kind of state this uh, this base is in. Can't see anyone overlooking us. Okay, looks like it's been raided. Yep, definitely been raided. I wonder if there's anything left. Mind you saying that, this looks pretty old. Now, it would be the case, wouldn't it? There'd be someone lying down here camping, waiting for someone to come in. <laughs> I've had this many, many times. Oh, look, they've stacked the gates here. Jesus, how many gates are on there? What about in here? There we go, get under. Nah, there's nothing there. So this is completely empty. Try and get a guy backing out here. Now the mods on here are pretty cool. 
There's there's not many mods at all, but you have got this little blocked out window part, which is great. Little barricade. I do love that. And on that note, let's continue for what we actually came here for in the bloody first place. Let's get the Vibor. Okay, so we are at Vault 3 here. There's nothing inside. I think what happens, you put the access card in, and once you open it, it makes a load of noise as normal. And then something should appear. Well, anyway, let's try it out. Yep. Yeah. Noisy as shit. Oh, okay, we've got Scar 16 here. And that is it. Okay, it doesn't shut either. To be honest, I was expecting a little bit more than that. Uh, but okay. There's a load of fighting going on at VMC around the corner from us here. So, uh, we're just gonna take a little look around the town of Vibor. And, uh, probably very likely to be getting into something. Let's just quickly key that in. Okay, let's head over to the industrial. Never know, we may find another base. Who knows? Well, as it turns out, we didn't find anything in Vibor. So, we continued our journey north to Nevea Petrovka. So there was a load of shooting coming from here recently. Jesus, can you see the size of that base? On top of apartments. Jesus Christ. So that's where all the shooting has come from. Looks like there's a large tent on there as well. I think what we're going to do is let's get on top of the school roof unless we get fired upon first. We may well... Uh, well, we should be able to get a good old sight on that. Let's just see what happens here. Oh, okay, so the shot's coming from over Tizzy Way. Also... So this whole area is popping, clearly. Maybe we may just be fortunate enough to get in between all of this action. And hopefully pick a couple off. Now I don't think we're getting into this big old base anytime soon. There's loads more shots coming from up there. Yeah, there's something going on up at Tizzy. Right, let's try and get a good old view. Jesus, that's not that's not actually that far. That's not Tizzy. That is just before Tizzy in the tree line. So we've got all kinds going on here. Oh Jesus, they've actually uh, blocked off that entire right side of the block. We can't really afford to stay up here too long because we will get sniped. Let's tell what, let's get to that. That's not too far. Come on. Let's get ourselves bandaged. So there's clearly some kind of fight going on over there. Well, it actually sounds like you've got a fight kicking off at Tizzy over to the left, diagonal left. And you've also got a fight straight north of us, which is not far from Tizzy. So we're not far off Tizzy here, and we have jumped into a load of walls. Now we've got a slight issue here, because there's gunshots really close to us. There is a big old fight, literally about 500 metres away from us. And we don't want to make too much noise killing these wolves, so we're just going to have to try and get... I think we're going a little caravan that's just out here. Now we do have a suppressor on the scar. And uh, we are bleeding with red food as well, so we've got some work to do. So, all in all, if we can take care of these wolves nice and silently, then uh, we are going to be okay here. It's kind of worked out quite well. Well, there's one. And them boys are kicking off. OK, 
Okay, so we got rid of three of them. The other wolves run off. And as you can hear, there is chaos kicking off all around us. But we're red food. We've got to deal with this as quickly as possible. Now, there is a pub right near here. I'm hoping no one's there waiting for us. And we can just get in there, cook this food up. Get ourselves sorted out. And then get our asses straight into that fight. Let's get some bark quickly. Man, my suppressor's absolutely screwed. There is no way we're going silent from here. Okay, so the pub is literally just through this little tree line. We're going to need to grab some logs in a minute as well. But what we don't want, having come all this way, is to suddenly get shot in the back. Now the great news is that any smoke coming from this place is going to be kind of covered by these trees from uh, the opposite direction. So we should, I'm hoping, we should get away with this. Come on, hurry up. Get them in. Get them in. Let's get the old scar out. Just in case there's someone here. I'm hoping we get through this. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh shit, there's a base here. Alright, we need to crawl underneath here then. Well, this has been raided by the looks of it. So let's just get up and have a look. Oh, there is some gear here. There is crates here. Is there anything in the crates? I doubt it very much. But I'll tell you what, our main concern right now is not that. So let's just quickly get this uh, resolved. Nice and quickly. Right, come on, we haven't got a lot of time here. Where do you get this started? Get all the meat on. I always put the meat on first. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Lighter, here we go. Let's get going. Now the great news here is that anyone that comes near us, they're gonna have to crawl underneath that uh, broken down fence at the bottom of the stairs, unless they snipe you through the windows, obviously. So we have got quite a bit of time here to um, to respond should we hear anyone. That fight is still kicking off. This we can uh, use this time to repair some gear as well. Look at that for time in those wolves, eh? Superb. Okay, so let's get some food down us. Get into the white. We've just sped this up a little bit. The last of our meat is now cooked. And we can finally get going. Now the gunshots have eased off a little bit over the last couple of minutes, so I'm not sure if uh, if everyone's still over at Tizzy kicking off. Maybe they're looting. I have no idea. But we do need to get over there and go and see what has taken place. Just double check no one is waiting for us. I think we're good. And we're a little bit warm at the moment. We're losing health. So we do need to deal with that. Once we get outside, we'll cool down a little bit also. Okay, so we're just heading through the outer perimeter fence for Tizzy Military, the north end. And we are just trying to find where all this noise has occurred. Well, hold on a minute, what the hell is this? They've added a bunker by the looks of it. So this, this is the airfield, Tizzy airfield. Oh shit. They've added a massive, what looks to be, some form of bunker. Well this is interesting. And it's got the damn building around the side as well, okay. Well this looks heavily fortified. Now, I don't know exactly where all this gunfighting has taken place, so... Has it happened inside here? How do you even get in here? So it looks like you can't climb over inside of those turrets. I wouldn't even be able to boost through that if I had someone else with me, so uh, we ain't getting through there. 
there must be a front or back door somewhere. So let's just carefully get around the side of this. I can't see anybody on the hills there overlooking us. A little bit wary about snipers here. But so far it looks clear-ish. Wow man, this is massive this place. This must be a top tier location then. I wonder if you need to have a card to get in here. Let's go and have a quick little look. See if we can see anything up here. No, there you go. So you can uh, see a little bit of the roof from inside. Um, through that gap there. There's no way you're getting in there though. Okay. Let's move around. It sounded from all that gunfire a little while ago that there would be a big old team up here. Um, for a second, there's a look, there's broken ladder on the side of the wall here. We're not going to be able to climb that, but it would have been interesting if you could. There's no other way in here. Yeah, there's no way we're getting up that. Again. I can't see any dangers coming from that end. This is a dodgy old place. You are literally, if you're out in the open like we are right now, you you are... There are so many sniping spots here. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go right round where I believe the front of this is, but we're going to loop round and get into the trees because this is such an easy sniping spot. From Anyone could be hiding here. I mean, look at that. I wonder if this goes underground. Well, there's a heli sight just coming over there. Satellite's over to the right of us, but we, we will not be going there. I do like the way they've added trees on the back end of that, or the side of it. Looks pretty cool. So here we go. Even worse spot. Look at this. <laughs> you ain't going to see anyone hiding in these trees. But there isn't a door, so I'm guessing there must be a front entrance right at... The very, I'd say front. We've been around the back, clearly. Going to be around this corner, I should imagine. So it kind of curves around a little bit. Now, are we about to run into whoever the hell's been up here? I can't still hear anyone, so uh, we're going to keep going for the time being. It wouldn't surprise me if people are sitting in those little turret areas. Using those to snipe out of. Oh, hold on. There you go. This looks like the front. Let's try and get a decent view. We've also got to be careful here because just to the right of us is the big army building. Double story barrack over there. People love to camp that roof, so... I can see this being an absolute nightmare, this place. If you've got a squad, one on the roof here, or two on the roof here, couple inside, whatever the hell is going on inside this, uh, this big old unit over here. Yeah, I can't see anybody on the roof. Oh look, there's a uh, there's an outpost up there as well. Sand banked up. I think the obvious position here is going to be just down to the side of this building. We'll probably get a look at that door. Okay, so I can see the door. How do you get in? We do need to get some cover. We're going to need a bush, at least a bush or two to cover us. Can we get a good old sight on the front of this from here? Nah. We need a better view. Okay, so the doors are there behind this tree. So it looks like the same bunker type setup as the New Livonia map. But obviously on a much grander scale. I can't see anyone hanging about in the bushes. So where's this big team gone? 
<laughs> you kind of get the feeling we're about to be sniped at any moment. Oh, look, there's another um, guard station there, look. So there's got to be key card entry somewhere. Well, it's time for us to uh, make our move, I think. Let's get inside here. One, see if there's any loot. But our main priority would be to get a much better elevated view of this place. And there's a door around this corner here. Again, I can't see anybody. But there is people, there are people around here. Okay, so that'll be where they are, further on down in the Tizzy compound. As a dynamic uh, toxic zone has just come in. Let's take a little look at this. Probably get a good view from here. Oh, we've got a great view from here. Yeah. Okay. We've got a couple of options. We can either stay here and see what happens. I'm not really into camping, though, but... Uh, let's do this um, nice and quietly. Get a blaze scope out. Well, we'll give it a couple of minutes to see what happens. It looks like a big old place. So we'd logged out for the night, but when we logged back in the following morning, we found something strange had happened. We were back at the coast. Man, I have absolutely no idea what has happened here. Maybe I got sniped at the last seconds logging out. But anyway, let's move on. We're just going up to Cherno. Oh, hold on, there's a guy here. Looks like a bit of a freshie. Okay, we may need that. Let's just see uh, what this guy's got to say for himself. It looks a little bit oblivious. So I don't think he knows we're here. Hey, man, how you doing? You good? You have a mic? Yeah. Oh, cool. Hello, hello. Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can. Yeah, how you doing, man? Are you good? Yes. I'm new to this server. Oh, yeah, mate. So on. So am I. So am I. I'm just uh, heading that way. Loads of big bases around here, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, be careful, man. Everybody's mean in this server. I know. Every everyone's trying to kill you, I've mate. Been on fights. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every I've only been here a week and I've not met a single friendly player. You're the first. So uh anyway man, I'm I'm heading that way, so um I'll catch up in a little while, man. Good luck. Alright, see you man. Cool man, see you later. Oh shit, there's another guy here. Hey man. Hey man, how you doing? Are you friendly? I'm friendly. What? I said, are you friendly? I am. Yeah, me too, me too. I am. Cool, cool, man. Oh, man, take it easy. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Okay. Oh, man, see you soon. Oh, man, what the fuck is going on here? Man, this guy's trying to shoot with me. <laughs> this place is crazy. What an idiot, man. Right, where did he go? We gotta be careful a little bit here. Got nothing really to protect uh, as we're not kitted at all. We've got a knife. Uh, but uh, let's just see if he wants to come out and play. I think he's running to this store, you know. I can't see him anywhere else. He's not gone across the road. He's not gone up towards the well. And he's not up north either. So he's gotta be in that store, I think. But where's the other dude? Now the other guy I first bumped into said he was friendly. It looked like he had quite a bit of gear on him as well. So are they actually working as a two? It didn't look like it, did it? But I don't know, man. Some strange shit happens on here. Anyway, we need to get to the well. So uh, let's very briefly and quickly go and do that. 
I bet this guy is around here somewhere. Probably going to uh, take us out while we're um, trying to fill up with some water. I'm just double checking because he's hiding in one of these, um, in case he's hiding in one of these uh, little areas behind a fence or something or in a bush. There you go, let's get the water bottle out. Quickly drink while we can. Saves a bit of time when we're at the well and it completely exposed. Right, I think... I think we may be okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. We've got matches here. Well, so far so good. Christ knows where them two have gone. All right, let's uh, get out of here. Oh, another dude. Hey, man. How you doing? You good? Yeah, yeah. Do you need something? Just some food, man, if you got anything. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that's uh, cool. I have... That's cool, man. Thank you, man. I've literally got absolutely yeah. nothing. Be careful, man. There's a guy running around just down there. Trying to kill yeah, people. Yeah, I, ha I, I, I met two, two guys, but I, I ran. Far, yeah. far away from them. Yeah, same here, mate. Same here. That's what I did. He's literally down there. By the water well, so be careful, man. Thank you, mate. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. Good luck, dude. Yeah, cool. I'm heading to Leningorsk, man. Where are you going? Uh, where, where, where? Uh, it's Leningorsk, up there. The military. Okay. Uh, if you want, I, I, I would... I could... I would... So, yeah, so yeah, I, I that's don't right. Speak, uh, English so good, but yeah, that's cool, man. Come with uh, us. That's cool. I, okay. Yeah, yeah. So if we uh, if we find anyone, we're probably gonna have to kill him. So. Um... Yeah, yeah. I have a deagle uh, and a sporter. The nice. sporter uh, didn't have so much damage. Uh, yeah. Don't have so much damage. Sorry. Ah, uh, nice, nice. Well, there'll definitely be people up here at Zlenogorsk. And they won't be very nice, so uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> we just try and Let's try and kill them, man. What's your name, man? Yeah. Uh, my name is Nick. Nick. Yeah, James, man. James. Yeah. yeah, nice to meet you, Nick. So over the course of the next hour or so, Nick and I have become quite friendly. So I decided to take a chance on this guy, and I invited him to team up and share my base. Are you ready? Yep. Do you need some food or water? Uh, not yet. I'm okay, man. Thank you. Okay. Sir. Right. Just gonna check that no one's raiding it. Okay. No, we're good. We're good. Okay. You ready? Yep. Here you go, mate. You can go in. Oh. Okay. Just shut this door up. Okay, cool. Uh, what we do is, if you go in here... There you go. Oh. Uh, hold on. Uh, that's... A, this is a... Oh. So, you hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I'm going to really just... Guns. Yeah, I need to quickly shut the other door. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Right. If you if you if you want, I I, I could give you some some of my stuff to. Oh no, man! To, for no, you. no, that that's cool, man. You take one of these storage crates. Just help yourself. So if if you want to, this is your base now as well. So if you want to uh, put stuff in one of these, then that's fine, man. That's yours. 
Oh, thanks, dude. Uh, that's cool, man. That's cool. I'm going to quickly change uh, my clothing. Put that on. That on. That on. Uh, do we need that? We might as well take that. So, we might as well. Go, you ready? Yep, yep. Come on. Come right, on. let's go, man. If you go to right to the edge of the room, over there. That's it. Go right, run over there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So we headed north to try Cresta, where reports had been coming in that a large group had been camping at the northern end of the road here. On our approach, we heard a load of gunfire, and Nick thought he had spotted someone in the distance. We just need to keep an eye out now, because they're around here somewhere. I'm going to move closer. Okay, me too. I'm going left. I go right. I can't see anybody yet. Yeah, no one. So they were camping up the very top end of the road by the bus. Okay. I see the... There are two bus, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Near there. Yeah. They were near there. Okay. Yeah, there's a zombie, so... Yeah. They're, they have to, to be nearby. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They're nearby. I'm just moving up behind you. Okay. Yeah, I can't see anyone yet. Yeah, I still can't see anybody yet. Yeah, me neither. They might have a base somewhere around here behind us. Should we? Should you think we should check the uh, behind us where we are? Okay. Yeah, do you want to do that? Yep. Okay. Just gonna move I'm up. Oh, I see you, I see you. Yeah, yeah. I'll come over to you. Okay. Oh, I see you. Yeah, 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 cool. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, if you come down to me, I've found something in the bushes up here. Oh, there you are. Yeah. You see it? Right in front of you? Yep. Oh. Is there anything in here, is there? Yeah. Oh, it's got a yeah, code lock. Ah, uh, there you go, there yeah. you go. So that's their little stash. So, they are camping around here still. Yeah, they have to. Oh, oh another yeah. one, another one. Another. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Interesting. So if we kill them, we need to find a hacksaw, basically. If we find a hacksaw, we can break into that. Yeah, 
It's a very nice place. Yeah, certainly is. Yeah, we can see everything. I love this spot. <laughs> love it. Yeah, there you go. There he is, there he is, yeah. there he is. Right there. 